uh, the idea of eating Less. one main meal per day was a dietary heresy. Um, as still mainstream nutrition believe that we should eat frequently many meals during the day, perhaps small meal, but many meals, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And in my book, I prove that this is not just wrong theory. The approach of many meals during the day, breakfast, lunch, power breaks, and in between, actually shutter human health and in many ways responsible for the health crisis that our society face today, particularly the, to the epidemics of obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And now we know, I believe, and I, I believe I can prove it, that cancer is also related to not just to overeating, to eating too many meals during the day. Mm. So I came with this concept that a human is supposed to eat only once a day. And the second concept was very controversial to say that humans are nocturnal eaters and night eaters rather than daily eaters. Mm. That really shake everything that people, shook everything that people believe at that time. No breakfast? Are you saying no breakfast, Ori? Well, you know, no breakfast is, just, is not a bad idea at all, but I didn't say no breakfast. I, I, I say not the typical breakfast. Uh -huh. You can still have light, watery food. You can have coffee, green tea. You can have light berries right. or even yogurt. But How about salmon? Is, How about fish or protein? In my opinion, way too early in the morning. There's no need unless you really train hard early in the morning. And in, even in this case, you rather want to put light, fast stimulating protein. Let me tell you something about the morning. The morning biologically, your body is just recuperating from the last meal, finish recuperating from last meal and just wake up. So your body is generally in a detox mode. Mm. Um, you, bec you just wake up, the sympathetic nervous system that keeps you alert and wake up just took over. And you want to encourage your body to keep waking up, to keep the alertness, to keep the activity. Biologically, when you are active and the sympathetic nervous system is dominant, most of the uh, energy is supposed to come from fat burning, not from the food that you eat. Every time that you eat a large meal, you shut down all these mechanisms. You shut down your you know, the sympathetic nervous system, Mm -hmm. uh, you inhibit fat burning, you becoming actually gradually sluggish, and as you keep eating more after lunch, most people want to go to sleep because they activate a nightly nervous system that makes them sleepy. So, eating large breakfast, following with the lunch, it's a lose-lose situation. You're becoming tired, you do not utilize energy the way you are biologically programmed, and basically, over time, it makes you sick. I look at another angle, Ben, and I wrote about it in my book. If you look at biologically and each species, you need to go back in time and figure out how was the species evolved. Well, we know that cats were not involved to eat cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And we know that um, rabbits are not, it did not evolve to eat meat. So we need to look at the human species and figure out carefully how did we evolve to eat. And uh, just jumping a few years later, I was always interested, not just in evolution biology, but particularly about something which is called stress science. How does stress affect organism? Particularly, how does stress affect human? Well, we were part and believe, still most people believe, that stress is bad for us, that stress is killing us. But biologically, the truth is the opposite. Mm -hmm. We evolved to thrive under stress. We grow under stress. Yes, we thrive under stress. In fact, yeah. it's the lack of stress that's killing us. Uh -huh. As long as we have the raw materials, though, as long as we have the wherewithal to exploit the stress, no? In fact, no. It's inherent to you, Ben. If I saw you out there right now without food for 24 hours, you don't need any material. 
No protein of uh, building which called, Something which is called stress response. Uh -huh. It's an evolutionally conserved mechanism that evolved about 150 million years ago, and it's basically an evolutionary concern from bacteria to human. It appears in virtually all organisms. When you fast for 24 hours or less, it kicks in. And it kicks in and you don't need nothing. It's inherent to you. It's registered. You don't need to help it. Just kick in. It's kicking mm. the same way that when you go to the gym and train. Mm. And it kicks even more so when you go and train on empty stomach. Now, stress response is a very interesting mechanism. Cutting edge science of the past 10 years, uh, scientists are now staggered with what it does to the body. In fact, there's evidence that when you go to the extremities, um, activated stress response, such as doing calories, extreme calorie restriction or fasting, can literally double the lifespan of organisms. And not just low organisms, even small animals. So... so What's the practical way you, you, could, you, you actually incorporate this idea of inter I get this question a lot. And we do talk about intermittent fasting. That's one of, our, one of the hallmark ideas that we talk about on this program. And so I understand exactly what you're saying. Tell us how we do it practically. I get this question all the time. How do you practically employ intermittent? And I love the word intermittent because that tells you that you do it, you kind of keep the body on guessing as when the fasting is going to occur, correct? Correct. What okay, hang, is we got to take, uh, or we got to go to a commercial. So hang tight, okay? We'll finish up when we come back from our break. We're talking to Ori Hoffmeckler about his. Well, he's got a bunch of great books. We're talking about the Warrior Diet. He's also got a book called the Anti Estrogenic Diet. Hope we get to talk a little bit about that. Hi, pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even if I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. 
Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day. Take them camping or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side talking about our guest, Corey Hoffmeckler, about his book, The Warrior Die. You can get it off Amazon.com. I highly, highly, highly recommend this book, as well as the anti-estrogenic diet and, uh, and uh, maximum muscle, minimum fat if you're a bodybuilder or weightlifter. There's a lot of great ideas there. Okay, Ori, I get a lot of questions about this idea of intermittent fasting. How do you best exploit it or how do you take advantage of it? How do you actually, in a practical sense, uh, intermittently fast? So help us out here a little bit. I'll start with the practical uh, part. Just eat one main meal a day, the rest of the day at night. It doesn't matter what time. Don't count the hours and you don't need to count calories. Have your main meal at night. During the day, either fast or incorporate certain kind of light food. I mentioned it a minute, what kind of food? That actually mimic on your body, even enhance the effect of fasting. This is, sounds like a bizarre concept, but there are certain kind of foods that mimic on your body the effect of fasting and now we know there's certain kind of food that mimic even the effect of exercise on your body, something wow. that years ago we did not know. What foods? Oh, I am a, this, is, this is actually my new project. It's coming very soon. It's called SAF, Stress Activated Food. Okay. And think about it then. We are talking about organism. We are talking about human and how important it is to not be overfed and to exercise, right? Right. Be under stress because people like yourself who eat the right diet and exercise are generally much more healthy than people who are sedentary or overweight, correct? Right. Uh, how come nobody asks this question about what the are we eating? Eat? What are we like? What are healthy people eating exactly that yes, keeps them healthy, lean? It's not even what. It's not even whether it's a vegetable or, or, or a fruit or or a bread. How come nobody asks? whether our food sources are overfed and or our food source are stressed. Huh. And like me? Are you, are you talking about correct. animals? There's yeah. they, they, almost an equivalent to the effect that exercise does on your body. There's an equivalent effect that stress is doing to plants that you eat or uh. even animal products. So in other words, the plants grow better under conditions of stress like we grow under conditions of stress? In fact, it's, it's beyond growing better. It lives longer. It uh-huh. produces compounds that protect the plant. Uh-huh. From death. Phytonutrients. From so-called phytonutrients or protective elements, in other words. Correct. But these are very special nutrients. These are not the regular vitamins and minerals that uh, you usually see in the typical RDA on the conventional diet thinking. You mean flavonoids and coumarins and these kinds of things, carotenes? Is that what you're talking about? No. No? They go far beyond that. Okay. These are called stress-activated nutrients, and the most potent, and they can mimic the effect of exercise and fasting on your body. It's a fascinating you can discovery. Eat these, so you can eat these foods, these nutrients, and mimic the effects of exercise, get the same effects Very as correct. exercise. So give us some examples. The trouble. Name names. Well, for, for instance.